Hello, everyone. My name is Laura Ayala. I'm a Master's of Social Work student at New Mexico State University. Today, I will be discussing the benefits of physical activity and exercise, which can provide health benefits to everyone, regardless of age, abilities, ethnicity, shape, or size. Physical activity refers to any bodily movement produced by the contraction of skeletal muscle that increases energy expenditure above a baseline level and enhances health. Exercise is a form of physical activity that is planned, structured, repetitive, and performed with the goal of improving health or fitness. Although all exercise is physical activity, not all physical activity is exercise. Health is a human condition with physical, social, and psychological dimensions, each characterized on a continuum with positive and negative poles. Positive health is associated with a capacity to enjoy life and withstand challenges. It is not just the absence of diseases. Negative health is associated with illness and in the extreme with premature death. This next slide, I'll be discussing physical activity intensity. Light intensity activity includes walking at a slow pace, so about two miles per hour or less, cooking activities, or light household chores. Moderate intensity would include brisk walking, which would be at a pace of 2.5 to 4 miles per hour, tennis, raking the yard, or any other um, yard work activities. Vigorous intensity would include jogging, running, carrying heavy groceries or other heavy loads upstairs, shoveling snow, or strenuous fitness classes. Absolute rates of how much energy you expend during physical activity are commonly described as light, moderate, or vis vigorous intensity, depending on how much energy is um, expended. The levels of physical activity include inactive, insufficiently active, active, and highly active. Inactive means that a person is not getting any physical activity beyond basic movement from daily life activities. Insufficiently active means in this level, the individual is doing some moderate or vigorous intensity physical activity, but less than 150 minutes or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity physical activity or the equivalent combination. In this level, it is less than the target range for meeting the key guidelines for adults. At an active level, an individual is doing 150 to 300 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity a week. This level meets the key guideline target range for adults. At the highly active level, doing more than 300 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity a week, and this level exceeds the key guideline target range for adults. Three common types of physical activity. The first is aerobic activity. It, in aerobic activity, the body's large muscles move in a rhythmic manner for sustained period of time. Aerobic activity causes a person's heart to beat faster and they will breathe harder than normal. Activities that fall into the category of aerobic activity would include brisk walking, running, bicycling, jumping rope, and swimming. The next activities are muscle strengthening activities. In these activities, the body's muscles work or hold against an applied force or weight which often involve lifting heavy objects multiple times to strengthen various muscle groups. These activities can be done by lifting weights, using elastic bands, or body weight for resistance, such as climbing a tree or doing push-ups, for example. Bone strengthening activities produce a force on the bones of the body that promote bone growth and strength. The force is usually caused by impact with the ground. This would include activities such as jumping jacks, running, brisk walking, and weightlifting exercises. Something to note with bone strengthening activities, they can also be both aerobic and or muscle strengthening. 
Immediate benefits from physical activity, even just a single instance of moderate to vigorous physical activity provides immediate benefits for your health, including improving your sleep quality, reducing feelings of anxiety, and reducing your blood pressure. Regular physical activity provides important health benefits for chronic disease prevention. So some of the long-term effect, effect benefits include brain health, which reduces the risk of, de of developing dementia, including Alzheimer's, and reducing the risk of developing depression. The benefits to heart health are that it lowers risk of heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. It lowers the risk of eight different types of cancer, including bladder, breast, colon, endometrium, esophagus, kidney, lung, and stomach cancers. It reduces risks of weight gain, improves bone health, and reduces risk of falls. For more information, please visit the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention at www.cdc.gov slash physical activity slash basics.